Mr. Chairman and the distinguished elders, I won't take more than three minutes. I will make no contribution, just one question. We have had these conferences over and over. Is it a lie? No. In fact, you called me a veteran. So many veterans. No, yes. These conferences produced a South South president. Each ethnic group will start with true federalism, true federalism. They give their power. They won't do anything. True federalism will die. Is there any true federalism again in South South? Nadeko like came. Did not come. He produced a president. Any change? Is there any change? God bless. I do want very short. They are strong list to us that we need to do something. There has to be change. As said by the guest speaker, I've been in the National Assembly since 2003. I've participated in several attempts to amend the Constitution. Of course, some succeeded, some failed. And driving from the conversation here today, I must admit that I have been enriched, particularly on the way forward, the pathway. Because what we are in now is a conundrum. If you say the Constitution lacks legitimacy and it is beyond repairs, you cannot amend it. And the Constitution is saying, look, the only way you can amend me, me the Constitution, is going through this pathway. Then you are actually in a conundrum. But conversations, platforms such as this are providing some rays of light into how to navigate our way out of this conundrum. And I must admit that what my brother said here, and happily supported by Dr. Abayomi, is making some sense to me, not only as a member of parliament. Not only, as he said, former governor, but also as a member of the legal profession and a life venture for that matter. That we can promulgate or enact a law now. In any case, we did it when we had doctrine of resisting. When the situation of Eradua got to where it got to, the seventh national assembly of the sixth came up with the doctrine of necessity, and that was how the National Assembly failed the cat. So we can as well resort to yet another doctrine of necessity, if it is so prescribed or described, to come up with this legislation that will enable the commencement of the process of us having a constitution for we, the people of Nigeria. And let me support my brother, the governor of Lagos. We are there, Governor Benga Daniel, who will provide our offices to collaborate with these uh, departures and all well-meaning Nigerians to move and promote that bill that will now establish the referendum commission for us to have and make a party. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.